y'all. Michael Sheik. Annette De La Rosa. We are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hot as hell at Independence Gym. Much love to Independence Gym in Scottsdale. Y'all ever in Scottsdale, Arizona? Make sure you hit up Independence Gym and show me a lot of love. It's a legit ass gym. Super dope, super dope. Much love, Scottsdale. We're about to train some back. like that and bend them up like that. Come on. Seven. Come on. Big pull. Eight. Come on. Nine. One more. Pull, 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 pull. When, when trying to get strength on our pull-ups, I never give anybody resistance bands or put them on machines, right? So all you do is have them Bend their feet like she did, or cross her feet, bend the knees, and I'm giving her just enough, just enough assistance to what she can't get, so she's still getting that work, all right? You don't want to make it all easy on her. We're gonna go uh, do some dumbbell rows right now. I like to give the back somewhat of a pre exhaust with pull ups. So that's why we get pull ups first. It is easy. Easy money, baby. Wide grip and close grip, 10 and 10. Best of both worlds. That thickness in the lats and the width. And also hitting down the center, the rhomboids. This even hits your traps and uh, rows in general, hit your rear delts. People never see me doing rear delt well, work directly, but I'm getting it though, baby.
try to mount it. Try to mount it. Mount like it. a man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, you my bitch. Mount you. Handle this. I manhandle that shit. Why? Getting the best of both worlds. Getting that width of the back. All rows are gonna add the thickness, but the wider you go, you have help with that width. And then in the center, all the way down the back, all of that muscle, quality muscle, the rhomboids, the traps, and rear delts work on both sides, front, uh, close and wide, so. Women too, it's good training your back and getting a little bit of width because it gives you the impression of having a smaller waist. If you're working your glutes, you're also working your back and your shoulders. You're giving that hourglass impression, so that's why we train back to ladies. Right here, that's, that's the beast mode part. That little extra 10 pounds, that's the beast mode. That's what it takes to go from average to, to micro. That's what separates the average from the not, not so average. Exactly. That's how good fuck that 10. Total annihilation. We call uh, get the complete failure. That's it. You know. So you drop the weight. It seemed like it would be easier, but it's not. It's more pain. So just burning out. That's it. A fatality. Drop set, baby. That's old school. So I think it's good changing up the grip sometimes because that way you challenge your back and you get different details going in there. If you always do the same movement, you're not going to work on weak areas. So just sometimes tra change it up. I usually do just a straight bar, but this time Mike had me change it up. So we're doing it with a different grip. Get right. Let me try to eat. 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 Let me try to eat.
Exactly, like you know, I try it out. If I could only get six to eight reps in, I get six to eight reps in, but it's better to try. Yeah. <laughs> 